So uh, I wanted to test the Hornady critical defense and the standard velocity for 38 Special one more time. Uh, I lost the bullet on the first one. I didn't have enough milk jugs. So I wanted to run the test again and just see if my hypothesis of the first one was the bullet didn't expand. So let's take a look here at the ballistics gel block shot and see what happens. So as you saw, the bullet fully penetrated and there was no expansion. So here you can see the track and I'll try to get you a close up. I'm using the exact same block that I used for the first test. I didn't melt it down at all. There's a large plug of denim right towards the end. The bullet then goes down a little bit and exits just below the first sh en shot entrance. So I'm going to throw the grid on here. Let's see if you can take a look. So as you can see, at the three and a half inch mark, you are starting to get this expansion cavity formed here, and that carries down to the seven inch mark, which is going to give you three and a half inches of expan of uh, cavity there. And then, as you can see, at the eleventh and let's say a quarter inch mark, you're getting a huge plug of denim before the bullet exits. Give you one other angle here, and again, I apologize about all these bubbles, but there you can see it here. There's the big cavity, continues down, that's the old cavity, ignore that, and exits out there. So you are getting a temporary stretch cavity from the energy of the bullet, but you're not getting any expansion. Let's get a bullet weight, and I so again, my final thoughts of the Hornady Critical Defense. I decided not to do a bullet weight or a expansion or, or diameter because the bullet did not expand. Here's the bullet. So you can see, zero expansion. Final thoughts, out of a small J-frame revolver like the LCR or the J-frame here, you just aren't getting enough muzzle energy to get this round to fully expand. That said, the Hornady Critical Defense in the standard velocity and the low recoil velocity are two rounds that I will not be carrying out of a small concealed carry revolver like the two I just mentioned. Out of a longer barrel, I would like to see the test results as I think they could be favorable, but at the time present, this is just going to be retired to the gun safe. Thanks again for watching. Hit the like button if you like the video and hit the subscribe video if you want to see more ballistics testing in the future.